Welcome to the AWC Automation channel. My name is Alan Sapien, and in this video, we will cover system redundancy types. Different applications require different redundancy levels for various reasons. Today, we will focus on system redundancy types for Profinet, specifically S1, S2, R1, and R2. S or R tell us whether we are using hardware with a single or redundant network access point. The number following S or R tell us how many controllers the Profinet node supports on each remote I.O. device. What this means is that if your remote I.O. interface module only has a single network interface card, the best you can achieve is an S2 redundancy. With this definition, we can see that S1 would describe the following architecture, a single remote I.O. network interface card and a single connection to the controller system. Likewise, we can see that S2 would indicate a single remote I.O. network interface card and a double connection to the controller system. For most applications, S2 is enough, but if needed, hardware that supports higher levels of redundancy can be used. For more redundancy, dual network interface cards can be used on the remote interface module to eliminate a single point of failure. This configuration is an R1 redundant system type as each remote I.O. network interface card only has a single connection to the controller. The highest level of media redundancy in this video is R2, which uses redundant network interface cards on both the control system and the remote I.O. interface. This removes both single points of failure. In this configuration, one of the PLCs and one of the interface modules could fail without affecting the system, other than losing redundancy. For further assistance, products, or training, please contact us at 1-800-AWC-INFO or www.awc-inc.com. We are here to help. 